This is Carol with OCC Land. I am going to unbox today a girl two to four. So let me start off by saying that I have packed and repacked and packed and repacked, boxed and unboxed, boxed and unboxed, videotaped and videotaped, and I have had technical difficulties all day. So I am going to unbox this one. Hopefully this will work without my microphone because I'm at my church and my microphone is dead and I don't have a charger and I'm tired. <laughs> I have been here several hours already. So let's go ahead and get started with this girl two to four. So let's remove our 107 rubber band. And when she opens her box, what she will see is God keeps his promises. So that's the theme of this box. It's a Noah's Ark theme. So let's see what's inside. First, let's take out her Noah's Ark coloring book. I actually found these after Easter clearance at Walmart. It even has the Walmart logo on the back. And I guess they had forgot to take these up because I found out like eight of them and they were 90% off. So this has um, stickers in it also. So it's a coloring book and it's stickers. Next, let's take out her sunglasses because she's gonna need some sunglasses if she's there in the ark. I put some things in a little star container because let's face it, if you're on the ark, you should be able to see the stars at night, right? So in her little star. I gave her a pair of flowers and a pair of butterflies. I really like this little idea that Sharon from East Coast Stories taught us. Along with that, I gave her two ponytail holders. I gave her two breads. And then, last but not least, I gave her her cross necklace. We always want to bring it back to the gospel. So I put that in her little star container also. I recently bought these. This is one of those fidget bracelets. You might get a little bored sometimes on the ark, so I put that in her box. And two by two, right? That's what the ark is. So I put you and me little plushies in there. I actually got these from Dollar Tree some time back. I'm not sure exactly what these little critters are, but I thought they were cute. I gave her this little wind-up toy because again, you're on the R. There's gonna be sea life around you, right? Whoops. I gave her a ball because everybody gets bored and needs to play with the ball sometimes. I gave her a rainbow necklace. I found this after um, St. Patrick's Day clearance one year, and I put this in her box. It also lights up the rainbow's blink. So I put that in there. I've heard lots of stories that as soon as the children receive any type of jewelry that they go ahead and they start putting it on. So I thought that was appropriate for this box. This is a little Ryan's World um, figurine I found in a Easter egg after Easter. Um, he looks like a pirate. I just put him in there because there's got to be some people on the boat with Noah. Oops, I am just having difficulty today with everything that I do. I also put this little guy in. He looks like a little Viking. And I put this one in. It almost looks like Cleopatra. Put some people on there. Something to play with too. I also found this little bunny rabbit, um, Easter clearance and a little egg. So I put that in there. I put in this little kaleidoscope. It's got rainbows all over it. Something to look through when you're on the ark. I also put these in here. I absolutely love these. These are either like the mega blocks or Duplo blocks. I'm not for sure which ones, but when you put these in there, it kind of plays peekaboo. So, I gave her the bumblebee. This one's my absolute favorite. And then, this one's pretty cute too, I'm not gonna lie. This one is the monkey. Super cute, right? Not two by two, but they're at least animals. 
And then I just had a little bit of extra space, so I put her two of these little unicorns in her box. I found these recently at one of those little bin stores. It was like a pack of 12 for 50 cents, and they look pretty good quality, so I got those. I also got her this jump rope. It has bunny rabbits on it, two by two, right? And this was an after clearance um, Easter find that I found for 90% off. And it says on the package it's three and up. So I thought it was okay to send. I think girls know how to jump rope sooner than what boys do. So I went ahead and I sent that. I gave her two pairs of underwear in this little organza bag. I was really surprised that these fit in the organza bag. These are the little ones that I would get from Dollar Tree. Um, but this one has a sunshine on it and it just happens to say Sunday on there. I thought that was cute. I gave her two little bracelets, little heart bracelets. I gave her a comb. And a toothbrush with a toothbrush cap. I gave her a hat. I don't always give a hat and sunglasses. I usually give one or the other, but I just thought this little hat was super cute and it's reversible also um, that she could wear. And then here's her shirt that I got her. It says dream big on there and it's got the rainbow and it's got the rose. So I thought that went pretty cute with the theme of Noah's Ark. Along with that, she got a pair of shorts with what? Rainbows all over them. So again, super cute, goes with the theme. Next, I gave her a little pad of paper that says love on there. I'm not for sure if this is a bear or what it is. I'll just be honest with you, it looks cute though. And it's just plain paper. So since I gave her this with plain paper, I gave her this big chunky Sentos um, pen, and it has all different colors on there, and they're supposed to all smell, but I thought this would help her with writing since it was big and chunky. I always have the hardest time trying to figure out where to put everything so you all can see it. And then I also have her Crazy Art Crayons. These are the jumbo crayons that I get from Walmart. Uh, they used to be 67 cents, now they're 76 cents. I guess everything's going up. I'll get that later. And then last, um, I got her a book. This is uh, from the haul that I got from Easter. And it's just got some really pretty pictures in here and they can, she can feel the little chick. And it's got some nice other pictures in here of animals and bright flowers. And then she can throw a little lamb at the bottom. And then I gave her a bag to carry her things home in. I don't always do a bag. I try to, but I don't always have something. And this one says, be your best. And on the back of it, it says grow. So I thought this was really cute to put in this box. And I actually found this at a store. It's called Mighty Dollar. They're still just a dollar. Um, so I like to go there when I can and find things. It's a hit or miss store. But again, I wish I would have gotten more of those. I think I only got like two of those bags when I wish I would have gotten several. So this is my unboxing for a girl two to four with a Noah's Ark theme, theme reminding everyone, not just this little girl, but anyone that watches, that God keeps his promises. So thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, liking and hopefully you'll subscribe. And if you'll comment, I'll be sure to reply back to your comments. And I appreciate you watching. Have a great day.